Guardians, the thing that we have all been waiting for is finally here. We've got the Witch Queen campaign, so I figured why not make a standing series of just going through the campaign, showing you guys all of the different quests and missions that you can complete during the campaign, how to get some of the exotics, how to get some of the weapons, weapon crafting, so on and so forth. So this is going to be the first of many videos going over everything that the Witch Queen has to offer. If you guys do enjoy this video, consider getting subscribed, hit that like button, and I'll have every link down in the description that you need as far as Discord, Twitter, Instagram, you name it, it'll be down there. So with all that being said, let's just go ahead and hop on into the very first Witch Queen mission, The Arrival. In times of crisis, people look to their leaders for answers. But ever since the planets were ripped from our sky, it seems all I can offer are more questions. And now, with Mars return, I hardly know where to start. Where is she? theory was correct. The relic is of the pyramids, there's no doubt. Word is out about Mars. I need more time. The Cabal are mobilizing. We need to... Secure the camp! Seems they have another target. What are they aiming at? Savathun. I don't think I'll ever get sick and tired of these, uh, watching those cutscenes. Uh, we are going to do this on Legend difficulty, uh, and we are going to be running solo. So hopefully, uh, we're able to get through it, you know? But man, that cutscene, 10 out of 10, man. Bungie absolutely killed it with this expansion. Uh, no spoilers around this way, but you guys will definitely see in the breakdowns that we do in these videos that, honestly, it's unrivaled. Bungie just cannot do any wrong in terms of design and just overall like graphical, you know, prowess, I guess. They killed it. We are going in with some uh, already buffed Sorry. weapons. I've already been through the campaign, so uh, might as well go in strong, you know. We're in some kind of crop field. What you see is a window into the golden age. Mars has returned with temporal instabilities. And Savathun's presence here is no coincidence. We believe the reappearance of Mars drove her out of hiding. And our intel says she may be in a weakened state. The Cabal fleet is blocking the flight path onto her ship. We need you to find a way to get up there and track Savathun down. This may be our only chance to strike. And honestly, in terms of just like straight up scale, these guys have absolutely nailed it. It looks so good from a distance, and I honestly just could not be more proud of them. Like, as someone who plays their games, you know, quite frequently, they pretty much killed it. I forgot I'm not on a hunter anymore. <laughs> uh, right now I'm using the Osseo uh, you know, the Osseo uh, what is this? It's a submachine gun. Jeez, if I can get it together here. Um, honestly, it's pretty good. Uh, we'll have a video on that this weapon coming out soon. If you guys want to check that out, make sure you guys get subscribed to the channel. 
I'm just gonna try to burn through this first mission here. Uh, there's a lot of story stuff, so I'm definitely gonna, you know, let you guys hear the story stuff as we go through this. Um, so it's not just gonna be, like, me talking through all, of, like, like, the lore stuff and all that good stuff, so. And I gotta play like I'm on a warlock, too. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, through the launcher. The Cabal are setting up a giant cannon. I have an idea. Head inside and get me to a console. You got it, Ghost. You got it. There's gonna be a bunch of ads up here, too. Where is the big guy? Normally on spots like this, there is a big guy. I need to proc Devour. Oh, I have Devour active. There he is. There he is. There's the Legionary. He's dead. A lot of this uh, campaign is going to be a lot of back and forth thing. But honestly, the whole thing was like super, super enjoyable. I have no complaints. I did kind of an overview video on what's to come, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. Let's see how this cannon works. After Queen Mara conducted that ritual, I thought Sabbath Moon would go into hiding. So why is she showing herself again so soon? Seems too reckless for a god of cunning. Yeah, it's not my god. How did you get up here? And then when this Colossus that uh, wants to come in here and destroy me, I'll be ready for it. Information. Oh, I got to stand on this thing, I think. Yeah. Not going to lie, the first playthrough of this, I didn't even notice that. It's going to throw down a rift. Some machine gun calibration. There he is right there. Thank goodness I'm gonna die. And for those of you who are wondering, this is 100% difficult. Uh, in terms of just like straight up like power difference between you and all the enemies and stuff. This is not a cakewalk. The legend difficulty is worthy of that name. Uh, and it is everything that I was hoping for in terms of difficulty. There we go. Uh, finishers and heavy ammo are going to be your best friend. So make sure you guys are, you know, topped up. Okay, got it. We need fuel, power, and projectile control. Absolutely, fuel you got it. Projectile, of course. I know what you're thinking, but trust me, this will work. My plans always work. Let's start with opening the fuel lines. This is the hard part. If you haven't thought it was difficult up to now, this part right here is going to be the hardest because there are things that you can't control in terms of like getting shot. Uh, like the, uh, the ships that drop off the enemies, they all shoot at you. Thank God for Devour, because if, if anything happens to me, I have Devour active, and it resets every time I get a kill. You see what I mean by things you can't control? I'm going to have to play this very slowly. Healing Rift, because that grenade will kill me. Uh, I'm pretty sure grenades do a little bit higher damage. Oh, 
I wish I would have put some machine gun loader on. I mean, it's not too late, but it kind of is. I just don't want to risk, you know, dying while I'm in my menu. Pick up wrench. One down, Guardian. One more to go. That's pretty cool. That is definitely pretty cool. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Stop it, that hurts. And the cool thing about this Osseo Strig is you don't even really have to, like, hit the target. Uh, because the rounds do tracking. Well, we'll, we'll get all into that when we, you know, get into that video. But uh, definitely a quest you're going to want to do. Go ahead and Nova Bomb these dudes. Oh, I got to reload, really. I... What? There we go. Let's go grab the wrench off of this guy. Thank you. Heavy object. And there is a perk that uh, allows you to carry heavy objects more quickly now. Which is pretty cool. Few lines open. All right. On to the next piece of this uh, cabal puzzle. Also, a lot of the seasonal stuff is pretty sweet, too. Pretty sure this is a tank. Come on, dude. There we go. There we go. And you get double loot drops from Legend difficulty. Legendary? Is it Legend? I'm pretty sure it's Legendary. Which is super, super cool. Who doesn't want double rewards, you know? I'm going to reload before I go all the way in this room here. So with Void 3.0, uh, 10 out of 10... You're going to want to run, if you're running solo, run a Void Hunter or Warlock or Titan even. It uh, will work. You're going to want to want to run Void. But the uh, uh, the Arc, or not Arc, but Stasis and Void subclasses on Hunter, they synergize so well together, it's insane. So you should definitely f uh, fool around with your builds, especially if you're going for like day one raiding or anything like that. Um, it's going to be worth having on your team, for sure. Hold that grenade for me, please. I'm going to die. Psych. I cut, no, I didn't. Okay. I gotta reload one more time. We got two seconds on this rift. So hopefully we can get this guy down. Yep. Take this guy out. Perfect. And then we got the second ball. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And grab as much heavy ammo as I can. Because we're going to need it. 
You know, if I were a god of cunning, I wouldn't show up with a giant ship. It's like saying, here I am, come kill me. Or maybe Sabathun's waving a red flag wow. at a bull. <laughs> maybe we're the Wow. That did not happen to me the first time. And I can't summon my sparrow. That's hilarious. Whoa. Okay. That looks cool. That looks pretty cool. This is going to be a very long uh, mission. Just a heads up to you guys. Um, it's going to be a long video. But this is the first one, and I promise all the other quest ones won't be as long. Uh, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a flavor of what you're getting into. And this mission is actually free for everyone. All right. We need two override codes to get the lift moving. Only Cabal engineers carry them. Now, this is the hardest part of this. Just because of the sheer amount of ads. Are you serious? Well, that's that. I have absolutely zero idea how that Nova Bomb missed. Someone please we explain it to me. Codes to get the lift moving. Only Cabal engineers carry them. There we go, that hit. I have Devour proct, so I will heal after every kill, which is very, very nice. And with the Osseo Striga, it's gonna be so easy to get kills. go we got devour active keep it going keep it going and then I gotta kill this last uh, dude over here which I have plenty of heavy ammo for that Colossus is not playing any games right now. Ouch. Alright, we got Devour again. That should proc Devour a few times. Yep, there you go. Gotta jump up here. They're not letting me get near this guy, huh? Keep Devour up, if I can. Yep, there's Devour again. That was a direct hit. He's dead, there we go. Get me to that console. I'll activate the lift. I almost have my super again too, which is nice. Lift is active. You just have Perfect. to adjust the trajectory. We got the rewards. We got a Persis D, an upgrade module. We got a bunch of stuff. We'll go over the loot haul at the end of the video. I just want to get through this so that you guys aren't like, you know, oh, you still in here? I think we'll stop this one as soon as we get up to the ship. Uh, just to kind of, you know, give you an idea of what to look out for, because uh, that's where things us, get very interesting. I wonder how they knew she was going to be here. I 
adjust cannon trajectory. All right, the cannon is aligning. Time to reload, Guardian. Don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> but I'll stand by to revive, just in case. Thank you, because this low key seems sketchy. To my knowledge, no Guardian has ever been on Sabathun's ship before. Either she's inviting us aboard, or she's so weak after that encounter with Queen Mara that she's getting clumsy. I'm hoping for the latter, but I wouldn't bet on it. Jump into the gun. And then we become the bullet. All right. Ikora, I feel like this is a good spot place to stop. Um, and then the next video will obviously have the rest of this mission. So stick around for part two. Uh, this run for that first encounter, we got a Persis D at 1443 with shoot to loot and opening shot which is fire actually i kind of like that got a 1425 hand or er, sidearm sorry and then a uh, 1458 rocket launcher and some more i don't think some more armor which is super cool might be our only shot yep so if you guys enjoyed this one hit that like button get subscribed stick around for part two catch you there